Hey everyone, Ben here. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're trying to grow on the platform and turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you did like today's video, then don't forget to hit a like down below because it helps other people to find our videos. And don't forget to comment down below on any suggestions for content that you have or comment about today's content. Let me know what you thought. Let's get into the video. Alright, I believe we're on episode 5 of the Wind Waker Randomizer, so don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are all linked down below. Links to stuff like Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook Gaming. Please join me on Twitch and Discord, because it'd be great to grow on those platforms. But uh, I apologize if you see any discrepancies between um, the last episode and this episode. Basically, I had to reinstall Windows 11 because of some issues I was having, and it became impossible to record this series. Uh, so as we sail, I will explain. So, about three months ago, I, um, upgraded my graphics card from an RX, AMD RX 580 to a, uh, NVIDIA uh, GT, uh, GTX, RTX 2060 OC Ventus. Now, uh, See, when I did that, I used a program called DDU, which is a display driver uninstaller. Basically, it uninstalls your current graphics drivers and then replaces them with the new ones you're planning on using, right? So I did that and I didn't have any problems. But apparently, I triggered a very, very, very slow set of errors. Basically, it became impossible to use anything that used DirectX literally impossible because every time i would try and use something that ran direct x as the graphics api it would crash like i'm talking everything from unity based games to emulators like dolphin because i run direct x 12 on it and i couldn't record any more of this series so i had to uninstall windows copy everything over to my external drive and try copy as much back as i could but Apparently, Windows 11 does not like it if you change your graphics card and don't reinstall Windows. Which is ridiculous because I never had that problem with Windows 10. Yet with Windows 11, it craps out if you do that. So bear in mind that you might need to reinstall Windows 11 to make it work because... Ooh... Okay, we're one step away from having fully charged Master Sword. That's actually super nice. Because that's a lot of damage. So yeah, if you're ever thinking about changing your current GPU, don't forget to uh, reinstall Windows. Because if you don't, that will probably happen. And bear in mind, this is a slow growing error. Like, this error has taken over three months to take root. And it just... It started the other day when I was playing a game called Plate Up with a few friends. Uh, my game would constantly crash out with DirectX 11 errors, and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what caused them. And it did turn out that after doing a... I did like 20 hours of research into this. Apparently, other users had reported the same problem, which is why in the last episode of the Wind Waker uh, Rando, there were quite a few f sort of jaggies and freezing errors, because DirectX was having a real problem with doing anything. Um, so because of that, we were just experiencing a complete plethora of issues that just needed sorting. Now, I do, like I said, apologize if there's any discrepancies from this episode to last episode, as in audio quality changes or, I don't know, visual changes. Like, I've tried to make things the way they were, but it can be difficult to make things exact. Like when you have to redo everything, because of course I had to reinstall OBS and then I had to redo the layout and everything else, all my filters and all this other stuff. So hopefully things will become consistent again soon, but there's not really much I can do about that. Like, I had no choice. Okay, we got the cabana deed. I mean, that doesn't really do anything for me right now, but... It's just kind of annoying, really, because... <sighs> Having to reinstall Windows, I mean, luckily, I run an M.2 drive as my main drive. So the whole reinstallation process for Windows 11 actually didn't take very long. In fact, it only took about 10 minutes. Because of having an M.2 drive, it's a super fast experience. 
but reinstalling all of my programs, I'm still not done. <laughs> There's still quite a few programs I still need to install. I just haven't had time. Which is terrible, but at the same time, what else could I do? There was literally nothing. Like, I need the ability to be able to record my series. I can't not record them. It just kind of sucks, really, that that's a problem to begin with. Because, like I said, Windows 10 definitely doesn't have errors like that. I've never seen them. When I was running Windows 10, I swapped my graphics card, like, three different times and never had the problem. I just used DDU, which is the driver and installer. I installed the new drivers, and boom. That was it. It didn't require any weird workaround or having to completely reinstall the OS. I just don't get it. But I'm thinking about making a video on this, like a short or something. Like, just to explain my issue and see if anyone else has had that problem. Because it is weird how it just randomly negatively affected the, uh, the DirectX API. And for anyone wondering, did I install and reinstall DirectX? Yeah, like three times and it didn't change anything. Literally the only way was to do a complete Windows wipe, which is insane. Like, finding it necessary to do a complete Windows wipe is nuts. And I don't understand. And for anyone wondering why I don't run something like Linux, it's for a couple of reasons. I actually happen to like Linux quite a lot. I've used Linux uh, quite extensively, actually, just at home or at college, like back when I was at college. My main problem with running Linux is compatibility. Linux is still not as compatible with software and hardware as Windows is, and that's my main issue. Like, Linux just does not have full compatibility, and that's kind of what I need. So, when it doesn't have the compatibility I require, like, say for example my video editor, I use uh, Sony Vegas, and I like using my copy of Sony Vegas that I paid for, like, years ago. I have a f lifetime license for it. And I, I actually happen to like using Vegas. Now, I know that, you know, there are video editors on Linux, like Kden Live, which I've used before, and Kden is decent, but it doesn't have everything I need like Vegas does. And I can't use Vegas on Linux. It doesn't work. So, you know, it becomes impossible for me to use the stuff that I need to use to get my content out. And that's kind of a big deal for me. So, when I'm not able to use any of the software that I need in order to do what I need, not to mention, say for example, I use two different versions of OBS. So, I've got normal OBS Studio, which is what I'm using now. This is what I use for YouTube primarily. I use it for YouTube recordings and streamings, right? And then I use Streamlabs OBS for uh, streaming to Twitch because I like the integration for Streamlabs OBS. Not to mention, I like having two different versions of OBS anyway, so that my settings don't get muddled, because like for YouTube, I stream and record in 1440p. In Streamlabs for Twitch, I use 1080p, because Twitch, you can only stream at maximum 1080p. Um, so because of that, I like having the, the differences here. Whereas with... Um, say like Linux you can only use normal OBS that's it so I'd have to constantly fumble around with my settings uh, just to you know get stuff working and it's just it's more of a hassle for me than it should be saying that though there are a bunch of Linux operating systems I do enjoy stuff like Solus I enjoy Manjaro of course Ubuntu or anything from the Debian line but again, the compatibility is a big thing for me as a content creator. It becomes very difficult for me to use Linux if I'm having to do that. Which is unfortunate because, again, Linux is a decent set of distros and I enjoy Linux as an operating system. It just sucks that Linux does not have the same compatibility as Windows. Or at least, I don't mind if it doesn't have the same. But if it doesn't have a lot of the compatibility, then it's kind of not great for me. Because, again, I kind of need that compatibility. Like, without the compatibility, it just becomes unusable. 
which, like I said, unfortunate because I've used, uh, recently actually, I used uh, Ubuntu Budgie, which is the Budgie version of Ubuntu. I used it quite extensively and I really enjoyed my experience with it. It was super easy to use and because of its uh, Budgie style desktop, it just became really nice and clean and I didn't have that much of a problem. But again, it's just that compatibility where it's suffered for me. Oh damn, we got light arrows. That is uh, actually really cool. <laughs> And we jump straight in the boat. Okay, that's actually really spicy. I like that. But no, it just becomes impossible, like I said, to really do anything, you know? And again, as a content creator, I need access to all the stuff I need access to. So it's just it's just a big a big mess of just bleh. Like it's honestly just a, a massive mess of just random garbage that sucks because it's it's a cool set of operating systems but unusable for me as a content creator if i was just daily drivering to play some games and emulators and to watch youtube and netflix then sure but other than that it's not exactly playable for me like playable usable for me oh god no no flying pineapples no I hate flying pineapples! Leave me alone! Oh, what the hell? They're surrounding me like a pack of wild dogs. Ugh. Oh my god, stupid post! Get out of here. Yeah, pop. Come on. I will sacrifice you to the almighty stupid pineapple. There we go. Wait, did I lock onto a pineapple? Yeah. <laughs> I got a joy pendant. I'm so happy. Can't you tell by the happy, happy look on my face <laughs> that I'm happy right now? <laughs> Let me out of here, stupid pineapples. Can't see where I'm going. <laughs> okay, we want to go this way. Go away, pineapples of doom. Stupid pineapples. I hate you. Like, why are those things everywhere? I hate them. They suck. Stupid pineapples. This is where I want to go. The sub. What in the heck? Oh, hello. Oxarok, how are you? Oh, my God. Do you mind leaving me alone, please? Being absolutely ruined by these things. Come on, the good news is though, we're only like one upgrade away from having fully charged Master Sword. So that's actually kind of swag. You know what? I'm just going to do this the proper way. I'm just going to cheese him. Hello. Goodbye. I'm just going to sit here and snipe him. Screw it. Would be nice if I didn't miss. Dude, light arrows in this game are infinitely OP. They're OP in other Zelda games too, but in this game, they ruin everything pretty much. Like almost everything they, seriously? Almost everything they hit, they absolutely ruin. <laughs> There's like maybe five total enemies in this game that they can't destroy. <laughs> That's how OP light arrows are in this game. They are honestly infinitely OP. It's insane. Uh. Oh. 
Can I have some magic? No. No. I need magic. Although, let's be real here. It can be very difficult to abuse light arrows in this game if you don't have tons of magic. Link, what are you doing? Not gonna lie, a little bit confused. Thanks, bruh. We got Maggie's letter, which we can't even do anything with because we don't have delivery bag. But okay, sure. Why the heck not? Just a little bit confused. One thing that is confusing me actually is that uh, Earth Temple is appearing as fully completable, yet I don't have mirror shields. <laughs> Like, can you fully complete Earth Temple without Mirror Shield? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you need Mirror Shield for Earth Temple. Right, we probably have time for one more check. Let's have a look. So let's go to where Tower of the Gods should be. Because I believe we've got one more Great Fairy to But I think next episode, we're actually going to have to start dungeon diving. Which is actually fine with me. I don't mind. I actually want to get into some dungeons. We're on episode 5, and we've still not entered a single dungeon. So, I'm excited. We'll go to probably Dragon Roost Cavern first. Which I'm more than okay with. Dragon Roost Cavern is a very good dungeon. And we can do about, well, maybe half of it, depending on the way the keys are randoed in the dungeon. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. Doink. Come on, great fairy, give me something good. I already got one decent or two decent things this episode, actually. A master sword upgrade and light arrows. What else can we obtain? Getting Bomb Bag a Boomerang would actually be kind of big, because that would unlock a lot of platforms. Because a lot of the platforms require you to take out the cannons, and Bomb's a Boomerang, and the only way you can do it. So either of those would be kind of swag. I mean, if I could get Bombs, I already have the upgrade, so I could instantly get 60, which would be actually really cool. Or we can get Command Melody. Okay. So we're only missing one song, which is Wind God's Aria. Okay. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more like this, don't forget to follow me on my socials. Those are all linked down below. Links to stuff like Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook gaming. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching today's video. Above is a preview of the previous upload, and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe, please, because we're trying to grow on the platform. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you liked the video, why not leave it a like? It really does help other people to find my videos, and don't forget to comment down below on any content you want to see, or what you thought about this video specifically. Let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one.